It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see which conference reigns supreme today. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Arizona Cardinals on Monday Night Primetime. Now, from the Valley of the Sun, EA Sports welcomes you inside State Farm Stadium, just west of downtown Phoenix, Arizona. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Carter, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500, but that's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. Matt Prater has been around a long time. We'll get us started here. And off we go from Glendale. Here's Lad McConkey to return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Chargers went out by Justin Herbert in his fifth season now, Greg, as the Charger QB, a guy we saw win the Offensive Rookie of the Year in 2020. His skill set can be determined by the letter A. Arm talent, accurate, athletic. And he's got a kind of aura about him. There's something special that they know. When he's under center, we have a shot. First-round pick. He's got everything you want for the quarterback position. He needs to take that next step from being a legitimate, bona fide franchise quarterback to a superstar in the NFL. That's into the hands of Disley downfield. Terrific start to this drive. Gain of 23 and a first down. These were the chunk plays they thought they could get here against this pass defense. They thought the passing game favored their offense in this matchup, and I think we can expect this to be the case the rest of the game. Herbert now on first down. Brought in by the tight end, Hayden Hurst with the catch. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. They'll come up here on second down and five. Shotgun now for Herbert. That's complete to his running back, J.K. Dobbins. Not able to stay in. He steps out of bounds, and that'll be a loss of a couple of yards on that one. What they teach these backs is when you catch a check down, immediately try to get vertical. Try to put a hole in the defense coming to rally tackle. So give credit to the defense here. They strung this out and made him go sideways, and they forced him to go so far sideways, he went out of bounds. Throwing is Herbert on third down. And great determination as he gets forward and picks up the first down. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Here's Dobbins. He'll move it ahead for about three yards. Kaiser White able to make the tackle. They face second down and seven. A run with Dobbins. 
and he will get forward for about five yards. That sets up third down. He'll give it to Dobbins. Well, we have an early decision here, Mike. How aggressive does this coach want to be on this fourth down try? I think you got to keep your offense out there. You have a prime opportunity to take the fight to him, extend this drive, and hopefully be able to come away with points. What a call on this opening drive. They're going to go for it on fourth down. He'll try to run. He is in. K.K. Dobbins. Touchdown, Los Angeles. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Cameron Dicker, the kicker for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Chargers will take a 7-0 lead. After the touchdown, here's Dicker out to send this one away. Here comes DJ Dallas on the return. Now an opening past the 30. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The Cardinals come out. They're led by their quarterback, Kyler Murray. First overall pick in 2019. Wows you with those highlight plays over the years. Off the injury. Greg, the Cardinals quarterback, is once again the exciting Kyler Murray. Quarterbacks like him are just so hard to defend, Mike, because not only can they beat you with their arm and their ability to process and spread the ball out to the other playmakers, but it's their ability to hurt you when things break down. It's just hard to defend plan B, plan C. You might defend plan A really well, but man, I'll tell you, you just can't simulate his speed in practice. You can't simulate his ability to make guys miss and extend plays. And when that coverage breaks down or that defensive front doesn't get home, he can make you pay in a lot of different ways. Yeah, really nice play there by Marvin Harrison Jr. And this is really the target they've been looking for to pair up with Kyler Murray here in Arizona for a long time. And for this draft to fall their way and then get really one of the best receivers to come out in the last couple years, Mike. I mean, with all the Ohio State wide receivers that have come out here lately, you can make an argument. Harrison, he's probably the best of the bunch. This pass is caught by Greg Dortch. And they'll take this down inside the 35. And this is where the speed of your inside receivers are so critical. He lines up in the right slot. But Mike, look how far he covers to where he ended up receiving that ball. You can't have all day. Those defensive linemen, they are coming after your quarterback. So the speed in the slot is critical. That's a great example why. Marvin Harrison Jr., the intended target. And it'll lead to a second down. You just can't say enough about how hard it is to play cornerback in today's modern NFL, Mike. I mean, not only are these wide receivers better than ever, but the way the rules are written... You're really out there on an island with not a lot of options. Your technique has to be perfect. Your timing has to be perfect. It's exactly what we saw here, and he makes a great play on the ball. 
you know, there's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this was one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. On third down, Murray. He's got it at about the eight. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the ten. And this has been a really nice answer so far to this game, Mike. I mean, you watch your opponent take the initial drive and go right down the field and score. And what are you going to do in response? What are you going to do when you get that ball back for the first time in your huddle? And tell you what, they've answered all those questions, and now they're set up first and goal. This opening drive, it has been a work of art. Now, can they put the finishing touches on? It's first and goal. They'll come up with nothing there, fortunate just to get back to the line, and that'll set up second and goal. Mike, I have to be honest. When offenses come up with run play designs, blocking the corner is not really a big priority. But in this case, great job, not only forcing it on the outside, but defeating the block, coming up and making the tackle, and keeping it to no gain. Murray now on second down. And he's in! Tyler Murray! Touchdown, Arizona. And what a response by this offense. It's not easy taking the field, Mike, for the first time in the game, and you find yourself already down a score. They watch their opponent kind of march down the field and score on the opening possession, and they're able now to go out and square it on up. Allows you to take a deep breath, maybe get a little confidence for your defense to go out and get a stop, and they come over with this extra point. We got ourselves a tie ball game. Now the veteran Matt Prater for the extra point. He's got it. And the Cardinals come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 as they kick it off. On the return is McConkey. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The Chargers offense ready to see the football for the second time. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at 7 as they start this drive first and 10. here for Herbert there is his tight end Disley and he's going to be brought down up past the 45 every once in a while it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here the quarterback just dumps the ball down a quick underneath completion and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. He'll push forward for about a yard. Buda Baker active and making the tackle there. Here's a second and nine. From the gun, it's Herbert. This throw taken in by Hurst. And they finally catch up with him, but it's a big play taking it into the red zone. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. So they move inside the 20, first and 10 at the 18. Out of the gun, here's Herbert. That's in the end zone and intercepted. 
Picked off by Sean Murphy Bunty. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and say there's ever a good time to throw a red zone interception. But in this case, it's the first half. You have the rest of the game to get yourself back down here in the red zone and make up for that miscue because next time they get down here, they got to be a lot more careful when they decide to air it out. Picard's offense, ready to see what they can do on their second possession. All even here in this opening quarter. And the drive will begin with first down. start this drive on the ground and it's Connor trying to find some place to go but nothing developing tackled behind the line it's a loss of one well they try to get the run game started here early on this drive Mike and they're just gonna have to do a better job up front there's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go you never want to lose yards on first down but that's exactly the case here now a second down throw for Murray and they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. From the gun, it's Murray. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard him one-on-one, -on -one, and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And after plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. you got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. They're going to work this down inside the 45. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. They'll go right back to Connor. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. Where a defender makes his tackles tells you a lot about his abilities. And for an interior defensive lineman, Mike, to make plays on the outside of the formation just speaks to his speed, his effort, his ability to run down the line and... We saw it here, and he takes the back down for a loss. The pass rush gets home, and he goes down. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Working from the shotgun, it's Mo And they are all over him yet again. He'll go down once more. Third and real long. This is where your defensive line has to come to life. They decided to keep extra blockers in the backfield, but it didn't matter. They were able to bring him down for a sack and brings up fourth down. So on fourth down, it's Blake Gillikin to punt for Arizona. 
On the return for the Chargers, it's Darius Davis. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20-yard line. So now here comes the Chargers as they get set to take over once more. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Herbert keeping it on the zone read. Big gain on the ground here as he takes this up past the 40-yard line. I think this is something we're going to continue to see today, Mike, as this game goes along. They're going to make the defense make a decision. Do you want to account for the running back or do you want to account for the quarterback? In this case, they choose the running back and the quarterback makes them pay by picking up the first down. Now it's Dobbins, and that'll be a pickup of three. Second and seven. On the ground, here's Dobbins. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Remember, Mike, he's already had a touchdown earlier in the first quarter. And at the way this game has started off, it looks like this defense is going to have their hands full stopping this guy. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. They'll stay on the ground. Well, they weren't going to get him the second time with the same back. Defense all over that one. They stop him for no gain. What makes great linebackers stand out from the pack is their instincts and their vision. In this case, the linebacker has his keys, brings him right where the ball is going, and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and keep this to a no gain. Now Herbert throwing on second down. Good hustle by the defense. They beat the offensive lineman to the blocks there. No gain on that screen pass. It's a really good job defensively. The key is you don't want your defensive linemen to overcommit to rushing the passer, and you don't want your linebackers in secondary dropping too deep defending the pass. In this case, all three levels play discipline, good football with good vision, and that's why they're able to stop him for no gain. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. So that one's going to land out of bounds. And the official's going to mark it right at the 20-yard line. The Cardinals offense getting set to get back to work. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. On first down, the drive begins with Connor. And this will gain a couple of yards up to the 22-yard line. They'll come up on a second down and eight. They'll go again here to Connor. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. Here now, third and five. Working out of the gun, Murray. He'll try and get there on the ground. Boom! And he'll be taken down as he takes it just shy of midfield. 
You know this defense worked all week defending this quarterback as a scrambler, as a runner. But sometimes it's just hard to simulate until you see him in real life, his speed, his ability to create. We saw him get him here early on a big scramble. He's able to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. They'll come up here first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Murray. He gets this complete to Michael Wilson. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. From the shotgun, it's Murray. A short one here, caught by McBride. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. So we've played one quarter here on a Monday night. All even on the scoreboard. Greg and I back here in Glendale after this. They can still get a first down at the one. First and ten, they go from the 11. Now it's Murray. That is caught by the tight end. Trey McBride. Touchdown, Cardinals. And that was just a great drive, really from start to finish, Mike. You could see the play caller just really finding his rhythm. Mix in run, mix in pass. Results in the touchdown pass, but really everything they did, the entire possession worked to perfection. When you can sustain the drives like that and come away with touchdowns, man, that goes a long way towards establishing your identity for the rest of this game. Now Prater to tack on the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Cardinals will move out to a 14-7 lead. So now, Prater, after the touchdown, is out to kick it away. Here's Darius Davis to return it. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Chargers offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. The throw is Herbert. Taking off. Well, we've seen time and time again just how dangerous this quarterback can be, Mike, when he decides to tuck it and take off. So that is a great job defensively to rally to the football and hold him to just a short game. Here's second and nine. Going back in the backfield. He'll get the carry here. He'll work this ahead for two, maybe three. Kaiser White able to make the tack.
Here comes third and six. Now, Herbert. He'll try to run for it. This is an element that defensively you always have to be ready to defend. You can't just accept that it's a pass and be so consumed with the receivers downfield. You have to account for the quarterback as a scrambler. You can see why as he's able to get out of the pocket and pick up the first down. Herbert now on first down. That's complete to the TCU man, Quentin Johnston. A gain of 11 on that one. And the Chargers have the first down. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play caller, him and the quarterback, seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes. And there is a lot of room to operate. Now he'll run. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Handoff here, up the middle. And he will work this down inside the 40. That's going to be good enough to move the chains. First down. Play action now. It's Herbert. And he's got Palmer. It's complete. And they're going to be set up right around the 10-yard line. You can't run plays like this, Mike, if you don't have incredible pass protection. I mean, he started on the left side of the formation, and look how far he had to go across the field before that ball was caught. That's going to take time. That's going to take a lot of trust in that quarterback in his protectors to know he can stand tall in that pocket and wait for his receiver to break open. To the ground, a first down run. And a short pickup down inside the 10. They bring their tight end right. They'll stick with him again. Stop at the six. And that sets up third and goal. Herbert taking off he'll try to get there trying to reach for the goal line but he's going to come up just short wow it's going to set up fourth down great reaction by the defense at first Mike it looked like there was enough room out there for the quarterback to pick this one up himself but they were able to rally to the ball and I think the officials are going to mark him just short so instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. Dicker's kick is good. And the Chargers are back within four at 14 to 10. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through and they get three. comes the Arizona offense. They get ready for their next possession. Philippe sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. They're 
going to work Connor in the middle here. And he'll get about six there. Setting up second down. Now Murray. That'll be taken in by Connor. He's going to be out of bounds, but he's got the first down. A pickup of eight. We're starting to see this so often, Mike. The days of just having a running back who you're just going to turn around and hand it to, yes, that's still a critical part of NFL offensive football, but their ability to be used in the passing game, just one more thing for the defense to have to defend, make them go sideline to side. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. That is Joey Bosa in on the sack. If there's any silver lining for this drive, Mike, it's the fact that at least this sack occurred on an early down. So I guess technically they have a chance to claw themselves out of this hole, but that's the third sack of the game. And this defense doesn't show any signs of slowing down. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. To throw is Murray. A throw on the move is caught. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Here's third and seven. Murray. He's got his man complete to Wilson. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. So far here early, Mike, the key for this offense has been their ability to maintain possession by converting on these third downs. It's going to be a big storyline the rest of the way. This defense has to find a way. When they force third down, they got to get off the field. First and 10. Back to throw is Murray. The pressure gets there, and down he goes. A sack. Khalil Mack, three-time All-Pro, in there to bag another one. Having a dominant pass rush so often translates to wins. But that's hardly been the case here, Mike, and they're able to add another sack to their total before half, and that's great. But somehow they still find themselves trailing, and that's the only thing that matters. On the handoff, it's Connor. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. A corner who is not only a good tackler, Mike, but a willing tackler can be a huge asset to any defense. So often they get a bad rap, they're considered just pass defenders, they want to run around, but for a guy to be able to come up and force the run and keep this to no gain, man, that makes a big difference on any defense. And they were hoping for a little more on that one. Brought down well short of the first. So it'll bring up fourth down. The veteran Matt Prater now out to try this field goal. This will be a 48-yard attempt. Prater's kick is good. And the Cardinals will open up a touchdown lead. It's now 17 to 10. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. So, Prater now, after the made field goal, back out to kick off. Davis now to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Chargers offense ready to come back out for this next possession. 
find themselves trailing 17 to 10 now as they come up with first down and 10. Shotgun now for Herbert. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. On second down, here's Herbert. That's to the tight end, Hurst. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. That's Palmer, the man in motion. Throwing is Herbert on third down. He's got the open man. That's McConkey. That's his first reception of the ball game, and it really comes at a good time as they get the conversion on third down. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And when they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. He'll give it to Dobbins. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. From the gun, it's Herbert. That one complete to Johnston. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Out of the gun, here's Herbert. He gets this one complete to Johnston. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. This is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. From the 35, it's first and 10. Herbert. This throw taken in by Hurst. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. The quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. Here's Dobbin. He'll get the first down there, a pickup of about five yards. It's possible they could have tried to be a little bit more aggressive on second down, knowing they had third and inches in their back pocket. But I don't think anyone's going to complain. Pick up the first down, extend the drive, see if you can go score. Set to go now on first and ten. Here's Herbert. To the left side, catch made by McConkey. And the Chargers are going to be set up. First and goal. He's out of bounds at the six-yard line. That's a gain of 14 and a first down. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. He'll be wrapped up there down at the three-yard line.
The ball a little closer now. It is second and goal. Now Herbert. Under pressure and down he goes. They've got him back at the 10. That last sack is exactly why defensive coaches preach over and over. Just play the next down. Just continue to make them snap the ball again. You're one big defensive play from changing everything about this drive. And what once looked like a promising drive, following that sack, looks a little bit different now. Good drive so far, but this is a big hurdle. It is third and ten. Now he takes off. And he nearly got away, but they finally bring him down at about the three to set up fourth down. What a nice play defensively. It's always a bit of a challenge. How long do I stay in coverage defending my zone or my man? Or how fast do I come up and pursue a scrambling quarterback? They did a nice job rallying to the ball late. They're able to bring him down to force fourth down. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Chargers are able to cut it to four. 17 to 13. You know, I think it's safe to say here, Mike, as this offense leaves the field, they wanted to stay out there and go for it. But I think in this case, the coach is playing the long game. He understands that these three points now can end up being very valuable as this game moves along. So, Dicker back out after the field goal. He'll send this one away. On the return, it's Dallas. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Cardinals offense about ready to take over once more. They'll begin with first and 10. Working from the shotgun, it's Murray. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. Two minutes to go here till halftime. We'll have more from Glendale after this. A good spot here, second and a yard. Working out of the gun, Murray. A short one here, caught by McBride. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. So, from the 39, they come up on first and 10. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. To throw again is Murray. That's caught by Harrison right side. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Murray's going to throw again. He'll try to work the screen with Connor. He's got room at the 30. Good-looking screenplay there. A gain of 11 and a first down. How often do we see, Mike, the running back, they get a little too antsy, and they go a little too fast on these screenplays. In this case, great job by the back. First, he let his offensive lineman go out. He then follows behind. That's the key to a good screenplay. Throwing again is Murray. 
And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Arizona will take its first time out. Clock will stop as the clock stops with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. They'll work now on second and four. Again, it's Murray. That's to the right side. Up by McBride. And he won't quite make it to the pylon, but he's out of bounds right around the one-yard line. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Man, they're just running this two-minute drill to complete perfection. It's such a point of emphasis of every offense, Mike. These end-of-half scenarios to come away stealing points make a big impact on the outcome of the game. And they're knocking on the door here first and goal. And at the very least, got to come away with some points. And looked like he may have had a lane, but the defense shut it down quickly. He did not get in. And it'll be second down. Now a timeout charge to Arizona. That is their second, as they'll stop it just a little bit over 30 seconds to go in this first half. Second and goal. Connor going to try to pull his way in. A second effort, and he is in. James Connor. Touchdown, Arizona. A lot of big bodies down there, but at the end of the day, the one that mattered, the one with the ball, finds the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, once that back gets the ball, Mike, he's just looking for a little crack of daylight, and he's thinking, I'm going to run into it and just hope I come out the other side. And in this case, the other side's the end zone, and they get six. Prater on to attempt the extra point. It's up and through. And the Cardinals add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. He'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Chargers offense and their running back set to go once more. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him. And your offensive line has had big opening after big opening and big numbers in this first half. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and ten. To throw is perfect. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend so give a lot of credit to this secondary they were all on the same page and the ball falls incomplete and he's gonna be very close to a first down that's a good run there maybe just a couple of feet short They'll empty out the backfield as they come up for third and a yard. Herbert to throw. He's got his tight end. That's Hurst. 
Now a signal, timeout called. Nine seconds left to play in this first half. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Pistol here for Herbert. Quick throw here is complete. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. Throwing Herbert. He'll take a shot here. Back of the end zone. To the end zone. It's intercepted. It is picked off by the rookie safety. So we've reached halftime here in this 11-point game. As we send you to our studios in Orlando. Here's Jonathan Coachman. He's got the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome, in everyone, to our Halftime Report. It was a solid first half for the always dangerous Kyler Murray. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. On the return, it's Dallas. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Cardinals offense and Kyler Murray set to take over once again. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. First down throw for Murray. Over the middle, it's Harrison. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They'll run with Connor. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run. But the offense is kind of saying, OK, line up. I dare you to try to stop us. And right now, this defense has no answers. Second down, Murray. That's complete his big target, McBride. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. Throwing now, Murray on first down. That's left side, and that's the tight end, McBride. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on them early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. Murray now on second down. That is caught in the middle of the end zone. Michael Wilson, touchdown Cardinals. What separates the really good quarterbacks from everybody else in the National Football League, Mike, is not only ability to process, but the ability to process quickly 
under pressure, and I think that's exactly the case here. He's able to go through his progression, find his target in the end zone, and then deliver that ball on time, accurately, and the result is a touchdown. Now Prater to tack on the extra point. The kick is good. And the Cardinals will extend this third quarter lead. So now, Prater, after the touchdown, is out to kick it away. Davis now to return it. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Justin Herbert back out there. He and the Chargers getting set to go once more. And this defense has really had their way so far, intercepting him twice, forced into a number of bad throws, and generally, the D has just made it tough to operate all game long. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Shotgun now for Herbert. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. They're going to motion their tight end, Hurst. On second down, here's Herbert. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. He decides to go with this safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. Two incompletions to start the drive. And it leads to third down and ten. From the gun, it's Herbert. And they will continue to go backwards. He's taken down for a set. Here in the second half, you find yourself trailing late. Every single possession is critical. You can't waste any of them. But now, after that third down sack, got to imagine a punt is coming. The likelihood of a comeback just continues to go down. The Chargers get set to kick it away and he'll be looking for something better after that poor first punt and that's a nice job of getting to him making sure that return was not going anywhere the home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession and as we take you through some of the highlights so far you're going to see a lot of passing yards he has carved up this defense over 300 yards passing in the game and has been sharp right from the start. You have a tight end motioning left here. He'll start this drive on the ground, and it's Connor. And he'll get about five. Now a second down throw for Murray. It'll be a short pickup that's not enough 
for the first down. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. From the shotgun, it's Murray. He finds his man. It's Dortch. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. When you decide to throw the ball on third and one, typically, Mike, what you're doing is you start from the top down. If you have the big shot downfield, take it. If not, the quarterback works through his progression, finds the medium target, picks up a first down. They'll run it on first down with Connor. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back? But not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. There's that man again. Another catch. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards, but do it after the catch. Third and five. Working from the shotgun, it's Murray. He's got it. Oh, he doesn't put it away, and the ball's out. And the defense has it. Mike, we hear that term run after catch so often, and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch, but before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. Ball rests at the 37, it's first and 10. This one complete to Palmer. And he's down on the other side of midfield, Markham at the 48-yard line. This is a tale as old as time, Mike. It seems that any time a team forces a takeaway, fumble or interception, the ensuing drive starts with a shot. A deep play in the air to try to seize on some of that momentum. We just saw a great example of it here. Herbert now on first down. He connects with Disley. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. They'll come up here on second down and five. Out of the gun, here's Herbert. Ah, fine work defensively. That's going to be knocked away. And go down and it's an incomplete. Vlad McConkey, the one he was looking for. And third down coming up. What did he tell us in our production meeting this week, Mike? He takes such great pride in his coverage abilities, and after that play, it's pretty clear why. Johnston motioning over. Herbert going to try to throw on third down. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. And he's out of bounds, but not until he gets inside the 25-yard line. That catch puts him over the 100-yard mark here tonight, and it gives the team a first down. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And he'll be taken down. You only get a one-yard buffer from the line of scrimmage for these old linemen. That time he strayed a little too far. 
and it draws the flag. Herbert to the air again. That's to the tight end, Hurst. And that'll help a bit. They're still well short of the sticks. A solid pickup on that first down play. How fast things can flip. You find yourself in first and a mile after taking a penalty on first down. But that chunk play there in the passing game now gets them back in sequence with the chains and brings up a more manageable second down. Now it's Dobbins. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. Throwing is Herbert on third down. That is hauled in at the five. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal coming up as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I think at this point in the game, prior to that third down call, the coach is telling his quarterback, hey, you got two downs. This is four down territory. But that last completion, I think, saves him from having to make that decision, at least for the time being, barring any penalties. Now they got three or four plays to try to end this one with a touchdown. To throw, it's Herbert. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He's got to find a way to hold on to that one. I mean, you're right on the doorstep of the end zone. And listen, I understand that hit is coming. But guess what? That hit's coming whether you catch it or not. And you get paid to make the difficult catches. And I would class it. Nowhere to go. He is taken down. What started out as a promising drive seemed inevitable, Mike, with the way they were able to continue to move the ball, that they'd find themselves finishing with points. But after that second down sack brings up third and long, and this drive looks suddenly very different. Now they operate from back at the nine, and it's third down and goal. Now, Herbert. He'll tuck it and take off. And he's able to gain yardage out of this one before he slides. That's a great job defensively. Even though they let him escape the rush initially, there was nowhere to go with either their ball or as a runner, and they're able to force fourth down. Here's Cameron Dicker now on for the field goal. This, about as short as you can get. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Chargers are back within two scores. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there, but I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. to right about the 28-yard line. The home team's offense headed back to take over once more. As we look back at some of the highlights of this one, you'll see a lot of them, Greg, coming from the passing game. They've done a nice job picking the defense apart. Yeah, and I think that's the right way to say it. It hasn't necessarily been just a bunch of deep shots, a bunch of explosives. It's been more methodical. It's been precise. They've really been all over their execution, and... This is about as close to a complete performance as you're going to see from any offense throughout the course of this season. They'll come up here first and ten. Working out of the gun, Murray. That's caught downfield by McBride. And he will take this one in. 72 yards. Touchdown, Arizona! What a luxury to have in an offense. A tight end who can take it down the field like that and take it the distance. Shades of Greg Olson back in the day.
Well, I appreciate that, Mike, but I think it's clear by now that we all know what's the most impactful position on offense. It's the tight end. And when you have a guy like this who can not only make those difficult catches underneath, but who can get down the field for these big plays, man, you got yourselves a weapon. Prater on to attempt the extra point. It's up and good. And the Cardinals are able to extend the lead. So now, Prater, after the touchdown, is out to kick it away. On the return is McConkey. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They are in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. the ground here's Dobbins and a nice run get him about nine it'll bring up second down now Herbert on the bootleg this throw taken in by Hurst. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game. And you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice game to his tight end. Here's first and ten. Now the former Raven, it's Gus Edwards. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. That's into the hands of Disley downfield. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike. And, of course, that's a given. But it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else. And I think both of those things were on display there. As he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. So, of course, you prefer to connect on that throw, but think about it like this, Mike. The more they continue to test this defense downfield, the more it's going to open up some of those shorter passes underneath. They'll try again here, second and ten. To throw is Herbert. To the goal line and in. Matt McConkey. Touchdown Chargers. We were talking during the break, Mike. We felt that this was kind of a do or die drive. They felt like they needed to come away with the touchdown here. And now they're showing a little life. Yeah, a little, little bit of belief, don't you think? Everyone on that field knows they've been a part of a comeback before. It's a pretty big mountain, but a good way to get started here to begin this half. So now Herbert and the Chargers will go for two. Herbert to the air again. 
And he will get in for the two. They open up the bag of tricks on the goal line and add a pair of points. After the touchdown, here's Dicker out to send this one away. Dortch now to return it. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The home team's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. First and ten. It's a zone read, and Murray hanging on to it. The defense not biting. They stay at home, stop the quarterback. No gain on the play. A lot of defense's strategy of defending the zone read, Mike, is we want that quarterback to pull the ball. It's one of their few chances throughout the course of the game where they can get their hits on them, and in this case, they're able to hold them to no gain. Here's a give up the middle, Connor. Connor's got the first down and more. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. It's too early at this point, Mike, to really start thinking about the clock. You definitely don't want to go into a shell. But now this is the point in the game where having a good ground game really starts to take over. You throw to get the lead, but man, once you get it, that ground game, that's what finishes the game off. On first down, they'll stay on the ground with Connor. And the defense was ready for him this time. Did not have the same room to run. That one's no game. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. And he'll get this ahead. Gain of about four. And it leads to third down. Out of the gun, it's Murray. Ten yards on the scramble there, and he picks up the first down. Having a quarterback with this ability to run is such an X factor in today's NFL. It's an element of their offense that you have to be prepared for on every single play. Here we see it on third down. Starts out as a pass. Nowhere to go with the ball. He tucks it, turns into a runner. Picks up the first down. Nice chunk here in this good-looking drive. Pick up of 14 and a first down. Pretty much just more of the same from what we saw with this back in the first half. And he doesn't need much. He gets a little bit of space, and then he can create the rest. It's the combination of patience, vision, and then the burst to hit the hole once he sees it. This guy's been a handful all day. He keeps it himself. Good decision to take off. He gets 15 yards and a first down. Mike, the defensive line rush plan is critical when you're playing quarterbacks like this. You have to keep him contained in the pocket because the second he gets out of the pocket, we can see what happens. So not quite first and goal. It's first and 10. They're pretty close. This one complete right side. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down.
to throw is Murray. That is caught, and he's in. Tip Ryman, touchdown Arizona. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. Now Prater to tack on the extra point. The kick is good, and the Cardinals tack on one more to their lead. So now Prater, after the touchdown, is out to kick it away. Davis now to return it. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Chargers offense ready to get back at it. They find themselves down three touchdowns here, needing to flip the script in a hurry. And they'll start it here on first down. Play action. It's Herbert. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Sometimes it's those footsteps. I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at. When that defender's bearing down, you really get a good idea what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch. And in this case, what guys are unwilling. He gets this one complete to Johnston. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. Look at the three tight ends here on first and ten. Again, they'll throw with Herbert. There is his tight end, Disley. And he'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So back and forth they go as we are through three. Back with more Monday Night Football after this. There's that man again, another catch. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they... And he'll take it on in. Joshua Palmer, touchdown L.A. 
Well, Greg, the light's still on way down at the end of the tunnel here. They are climbing back into this one with that touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And they have a tall task ahead of them, Mike, but they have a chance. I mean, we've seen stranger things happen. Hmm. They got a two-possession game here late. They're going to need a couple stops, and they're going to need a couple things to bounce their way. Dicker, good, with the extra point. And the Chargers are able to edge a bit closer. After the touchdown, here's Dicker out to send this one away. Dorch now to return it. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Cards offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. On first down, the drive begins with Connor. Room to run at the 40. And he'll be taken down as he takes it just shy of midfield. And this is the point of the game, Mike, where you really can start leaning on your run game and try to close this game out. You've got the lead. You're in the fourth quarter. And they're able to pop off a big run. On first and ten, it's Murray. A short one here, but by McBride. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air. Mike, you're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. You don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock. And without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball back. Here's second and two. Working from the shotgun, it's Murray. That is caught at the three. To the goal line and in. Marvin Harrison, Jr. Touchdown, Cardinals. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but... It's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. Prater on to attempt the extra point. His kick is good, and the Cardinals will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. get this up to the 28 yard line nice place for the drive to start so now here comes the Chargers as they get set to take over once more things not looking good but see if we get the turnaround going here they'll start this drive with first down Dobbins 
Not much happening there. Just a short game. Here's second and nine. Out of the gun, here's Herbert. That one complete to Johnston. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. They call this the alley, so it's the area between the hash marks and the numbers, and depending on what defense they're in, there is a lot of space to be had down those seams. So if this defense doesn't make a couple of adjustments, I wouldn't expect this offense to target any other place on this field. Herbert now on first down. Who? He's hit after the catch, and the ball comes free. The Cardinals have got it. You know, Mike, with the importance being placed on yards after the catch, we're seeing more and more guys really emphasize turning into a runner as soon as possible. And, of course, it's a critical part of today's modern offense. But the part you have to remember, the yards are never more important than protecting the ball. So it needs to continue to be stressed. Yes, we want the big explosive play after the catch, but never at the expense of the ball. The Cardinals offense and their veteran running back, James Conner, set to take over again. They start with the lead and the football. They do so with tremendous field position. It's first and ten. And remember now, all turnovers must be reviewed by replay. So this one is going to need a little closer look. At issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? So that one overturned. They say the runner was down and that will not be a fumble. Here's a second and three forthcoming. From the gun, it's Herbert. Looking middle, and he'll get it complete to McConkie. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page, and when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. Set to go now on first and ten. Throwing again, Herbert. That's to the tight end, Hurst. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. What a luxury that certain teams, when they have a guy like this, I mean, not only is he the big target, but then to have that size and speed to run away from these linebackers and do so much of his damage after the catch. Off here, up the middle, and not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground, Mike. There was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Back to the ground. He'll get it again. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down shotgun now for Herbert he's got his big tight end Hayden Hurst touchdown Los Angeles Greg, they have such a knack. It's like they're on the same page. The quarterback almost feels like, well, when you were playing, you know where that guy's going to be in the end zone. Yeah, we used to have a saying, Mike, we say we don't run routes like they're lines on a piece of paper, and especially against zone coverage. Down here in the red zone, the rule is if you're open, stay open. Don't run past an open zone to get covered. That's exactly what this tight end does here. Friendly target, ball on time, touchdown.
Dicker, good, with the extra point. And the Chargers are able to cut into the deficit. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. The home team's offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, the stats. It has all been on display throughout. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. On the zone read, given to Connor. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. They'll go again here to Connor. And he's got it. First down. A pickup of four. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. They'll go right back to Connor. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. Look him up on a second down and eight. From the shotgun, it's Murray. Off he goes. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. First and 10 now from the 36. Here's Murray. He'll take off again. You can't beat a running quarterback. Gain a 16 and a first down. Mike, this is the element to the position that this guy brings that's just so unique across the league. Not only the speed, but his ability to operate in the open field as a runner. It is hard for a defense to plan for a guy like this. Out of the gun, and they'll run it with Connor. Here's a second and six. Here's Connor. And he'll only manage to pick up three yards. And that leads to third down. From the gun, it's Murray. That throws short, caught by Ryman. And he's got the first down. A great job looking it in, gauging where the marker is, and getting there to set up first and goal. At this point in the game, Mike, it really starts coming down to the number of possessions. So that's a huge first down conversion. Fresh set of downs. Now, the balance is stay aggressive and maintain the ball but also start working this clock. Mark down at the six.
Here now, second down and goal. Again, it'll be Connor. And the defense stiffening here. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's all. Third and goal coming up. So on second down, they try to hammer it in on the ground, Mike. But now on third and goal, I don't think you have any choice but to put this ball in your quarterback's hands and test this defense through the air. Third and goal. Murray. And he's in. Greg Gortz. Touchdown, Arizona. So add another touchdown and touchdown pass for that matter. He has thrown six already in this one. Amazing stuff. Prater to tack on the extra point. He's got it. And the Cardinals are going to extend their lead. So now, Prater, after the touchdown, is out to kick it away. On the return is McConkey, And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The Chargers offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Now, Herbert. This throw taken in by Hurst. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. That'll be complete to Dobbins. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time. Play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball. Keep that to a short game. Herbert looking to throw on third and two. And he's going to pick up the first down. He knew where that marker was and made sure... He got beyond it. This is a great example of where just having situational awareness is so critical in the huddle. When every one of those receivers, Mike, breaks the huddle and go line up, they've got to know where that first down marker is. If your route calls, get by it, secure the catch, and bring up a fresh set of downs. Now Herbert again. This one finds McConkey. It takes a certain guy in that slot position to be willing and able to go across the middle of the defense on those in-breaking routes. You can tell this guy, he doesn't care. He is fearless going across the middle, and he's able to secure a nice catch. Herbert to the air again. He'll have to manage Johnston. He's got it. They get 12 yards on that pass. It's good for a Charger first down. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And no chance to turn and go. 
That one good for just a couple. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. Herbert to the air again. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. Herbert going to try to throw on third down. And that is incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. And he is going to have the Chargers first down. They managed to convert. That'll keep the drive alive. These can be tricky situations defensively, right? The game is all but over. Barring something unforeseen, you got this one in the bag, but you still want to finish on a high note. You still want to walk off the field and put an exclamation point on what's pretty much been a dominant performance right from the start. Now he takes off. That is a gain of 20, and what a chance now. First and goal coming up. This has been a great drive, and mostly at the hands of the man with the ball there. He thought about pulling the trigger on that one, thought better of it, decides to take off with his legs, and now he's going to have first and goal. So two minutes left to play in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. Now it's Herbert. There's that man again. Another catch. And they'll get him down right around the five-yard line. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Ball right on the five-yard line, second down, and goal. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Justin Herbert. Touchdown, Chargers. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. This one not quite over, but down a couple of scores. We're going to get an onside kick. Well, we knew, Mike, this was going to take a miracle. All they needed to do was recover this, score, recover another one, score again. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen, and this game's all but over. The offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. So they come to the line for first down and 10. On the handoff, it's Connor. Now the Chargers will use the first of their timeouts, and they'll get together prior to the second down play. Now 
Now Murray keeping it himself. Now a timeout Chargers here. That's their second. They'll talk things over before third down. They'll drop to throw. He'll try to run for it. The Chargers going to use their third and final timeout. They'll be disappointed there after giving up the first down. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. So it's a win for the Cardinals. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Oates. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win here in the desert for the Cardinals, as we say, so long from Glendale.